Good day. We are now going to work with queries. I've already opened the database called Sports Teams and you can see that of all the access objects there's only one table. There are no queries, no reports, nothing else. If I double click on the data of participants, in other words this table, you can see that I have a lot of data here. As a matter of fact I have 237 rows or records of data. This table is not filling the whole window so let's click on the maximize button and let it fill the whole window. And now we want to create a query. So let's go to the query section and under queries we click create query design. Access shows me a list of tables I can use to base my query on. I only have one table, data of participants, so that's the one I'm going to use and then close the window from which I've selected it. Here is a list of all the fields in this specific table. I'm going to drag them one by one onto my query form. And the last three I'm going to use all together. I click on the first one, hold shift in and click on the last one and drag them all to the last open block. So there I have them all. Great. So this is the basics of a query. Let's save our query right now. File, save. And I'm going to call this query own transport. Grade 8. Great. So I've created my first query. What I've done is I've selected all the fields in my table onto the query sheet and I'm going to run this query to see what it does. It looks exactly like the table because actually this query contains all the fields that were in the original table. We need to extract, according to our question, only grade 8 learners who use their own transport. So let's go back to the design view clicking up here on that little triangle takes me back to the design view. Notice that here is a row called criteria. I want to select only those students that are in grade 8. So if I put in an 8 here and press enter and I run my query again you can see that now I only have grade 8's shown and suddenly there are only 30 records in this query. 30 records have been extracted out of the main table and that's what this query now does. But we are not finished. Let's go back to design view. We must also choose grade 8 learners that use their own transport. So let's go and have a look. I don't see the transport field over here so let's go and look for it. There it is. The criteria here will be own. Press enter and I'm going to run my query again and suddenly I only have five items in this query. You can see that they all have own transport and they are all in grade 8. Let's save this file. Save. So I've saved my database with the new query. In my second question I'm once again going to create a new query. So let's go to the Create tab Query design. Once again, use the same table. Let's quickly use, oh, close this one from which we select. Then I might as well select all the fields, drag them onto the first field position, and there they are. This second query must extract all the grade 8 or grade 9 learners who play rugby. So let's do the sport first, and let's type in here the word rugby. Press enter. And there it is. Now I have extracted all those learners that play rugby, but I need to only extract grade 8 or grade 9. So let's go and look at the grade column, and here I'm going to type 8 or 9, and press enter. And let's run our query and see what happens. Definitely grade 8s. Let's scroll down and see any grade 10s. No, only grade 8s and 9s. And any sport other than rugby? doesn't look like it right to the top now and right to the bottom so we only have eight and nine learners that play rugby but we don't want to show all those different fields in this case let's show only grade class surname and name grade so here's the show row so yes grade is ticked class is ticked surname 
and name. All the other fields must be unticked. So transport as well. Great. So now although the other fields are showing in this sheet form of mine, they are not ticked and therefore they won't display when I run my query. Great. There we have only four columns being displayed and those columns show all the grade 8 learners that play rugby. Let's save it once again and let's call this query rugby underscore grade underscore 8 underscore 9. Now let's have a look at my table again. So let's show all access objects. There's the data of my participants and here's all my data. You can see 237 students I have in this database. So number three asks us to create a query that extracts from this table all grade 12 learners who play hockey or rugby. Once again we are going to create a query. Click on the create tab and on query design I use this table. There is only one table to use and we might as well well firstly we must close it. Let's drag all those fields onto the query form. Great. Now firstly we want to in this case select grade 12 learners so our grade must be equal to 12 and the sport must be hockey or rugby. Now I can type hockey or rugby or I could go to the second row because this is the second row is in line with the word or and here I can type in rugby and press enter so this will extract all the learners that play rugby or hockey in grade 12 but the fields we want to display are only sport name and surname so let's untick all the rest sport name and surname there we go what about the last one transport of course must be off as well sport name and surname there we go but in this case we must also sort them alphabetically according to sport and then according to surname now in order to do sport first I must take this field and drag it by clicking and dragging right to the front. Now I can see that sport has a row called sort and if I click on the down arrow here we can choose ascending. So now our query is sorting all those students that we are extracting in ascending order. It's not finished yet. We must also sort them according to surname. Now because surname is on the right hand side of sport I can merely change the sorting option for surname to ascending as well and now our query is done. Let's save it and the, the name that we'll use for this one is grade 12 underscore hockey underscore rugby. Great. Press enter and let's run it and see if it's true. Hockey and rugby, no other sports. I'm scrolling down, no other sports, no, no whatsoever. And I can't see whether these students are in grade 12. So just for the moment, let's go back to design view and make the grade column visible as well, just for now. I run it. Ah, ooh. You can see that we have grades that are not only grade 12. Let's go and look and see where our mistake is. Aha, you can see that we have all hockey students that are in grade 12 but the rugby students are not necessarily in grade 12. Now we can fix this in one of two ways. We can type in 12 here and let's run it and see how suddenly all of our students are in grade 12. Or the other way is to say hockey or rugby and we delete this line and we delete that line. Run it again and we once again have 30 students, all of them in grade 12 and all of them doing only rugby and hockey. The next query must show us all learners who play rugby for the first team and will be using the bus as transport. So let's go to the create tab, the query design, select the table data of participants, double click on it and say close the selection window at this point I'm going to save my query so click on save and let's call this query rugby underscore firsts first team bus. Now we know that the sport must be rugby. We know that the team must be firsts. I think it is. Let's go and have a look at the 
table, I'm saving this query first, let's look at the table and see how do they indicate the first team. Well, seconds is for the second team, so obviously, f there we go, firsts must be for the first team. I'm back with my query, so here I type in firsts, press enter, and these are the guys using own transport, or bus, no, it's bus transport. There we go. So, now we will extract all those learners which play for the first team, rugby, and are going to use the bus's transport. Let's save our query again and view it. And let's check if we have all the first team rugby players that are going on the bus, and that's exactly what we have. Now, what do they want us to display? In this question, we must display only grade. We've got grade here, class, we've got surname and name surname and name but we've got all the uh, these others here as well so let's go back to design view by the way if we click on this down arrow you see that there are sh a few other views i want to go to design view now and i want to untick the show property of everything else except grade class surname and name there we go save it again and run it and there we have it now the last part of this question says we must sort so go back to design view, A sending according to grade, then class, then surname. Grade, then class, then surname. So grade has to be first in front of name, then class, and then surname. So let's scroll left. I click on that little block right up there to select the whole column, and click and drag it to the left-hand side of surname. Now I can sort according to grade first, then class, so click on class and drag it left uh, so that it's on the right hand side of grade. And now, the sorting field. I can sort ascendingly according to grade and class and surname must be alphabetical according to surname, so ascending as well. Great, let's save once again and run our query and let's see if this is alphabetical. Alberts, Bogenhofer, Celia, it looks alphabetical to me. M, oh it doesn't. M, doesn't look alphabetical to me. Let's go and change it and see. Did we do this correctly? I am sorting firstly according to grade in ascending order, then according to class in ascending order and then according to surname. Ah, so this makes sense. It will, it should put all the grade 11s first, according to class, and then within a class it should be alphabetical according to surname, and only then the grade 12. So let's go and run this query and see. Yes, I have all the grade 11s, and then all the grade 12s. All the grade 11s in class A, are they alphabetical? Yes, they are. There's only one in B. There's two in D, and they are alphabetical. There's three in E, and they are alphabetical. And then all the grade 12s in class D are alphabetical. Yes, my query works. And the final part of this question is to create a query that will extract all grade 8 and 9 learners who play hockey and tennis. So create tab, query design, this table, close the selection box, take them all, and drag them down. Great, there we have them. Question is to extract all grade 8 and 9, so click on grade criteria. So that means 8 or 9. We want those that are in grade 8 as well as those that are in grade 9. Now no single pupil is in grade 8 and 9, so it has to say 8 or 9 over here. Good, press enter. The next part of this they must play hockey or tennis. So the sport can be hockey or tennis. And the fields that must be displayed are grade, name, surname and sport. Grade, name, surname and sport. Not class, not team and not transport. Now our sorting must be ascending according to grade. So let's go to grade and make this ascending and then alphabetically according to sport. And we save this query as grade 8, 9, hockey, tennis. So let's save this as grade 
underscore eight underscore nine underscore hockey underscore tennis enter great so you can see that they are all the hockey guys are together then the tennis guys then the grade nines hockey first and then tennis good hope you learned something